Greetings, human mammal creatures. Lethal Larry back again. Uh, I'm here to show you today uh, what I understand about how to make uh, a no mod slingshot. Uh, now, with the wire tool, um, cable tool, I, I, it was called the wire tool for so long, I got so in the habit of calling it the wire tool, I'm still trying to remind myself it's now the cable tool. So, the thing about cables is it's all about tension. And tension in cables is about basically storing energy. So the main strength you get from cables is that when you stretch them, you store some potential energy that if you can find the way to release it right, you can release that energy all at once. And it's pretty easy to tension cables but turning that into something useful is, in my experience, a little harder than expected. So every cable has a set length. I mean, well, they all have the same length, but the point is um, that when you start a cable, uh, your two points will either be in the slack zone or in the slightly tensioned zone when you get far, it turns dashed like that, and that's farther than it can reach. So this right here is the maximum length that you can place a cable, but it's not the maximum length that a cable can be. Okay, I hook that up. Now with these two cables, I can go forward enough so that they are both in their slightly stretched phase, but they will pull me back. So one way to deal with that is to add another cable on the front here. And as you can see, all three cables should be of about the same tension right now. Now, if I were to have two cables of the same length here, you'll notice that these two lengths here should be about the same length, but this one should be shorter, and that's because these two cables are sharing part of the same tension across the same span. So, theoretically, if you had 10 cables right here of the same length, it would be one tenth of the, the tension difference, uh, the tension distance that these uh, two would have. So in a way they stack in that they, they share the tensile strength across the distance. Now I am gonna go ahead and sever those two because if I don't, they will turn into a problem. You can keep doing this. And notice that each time I do this, the span from point A to point B on each one gets longer, and that's shared across all of them. run into this before where this fella gets a little hung up in that grass. There, I probably just made it worse. My last experiment, it got so hung up there that when I finally did notice and pull it off, um, bad things happened. Not tear down space program bad, but not ideal. So you can keep adding tension by constantly pulling forward what I call the fulcrum body, which is the body that I'm using as the focus of all the, the stresses 
that I'm storing in the, the cables. Yeah, I'm on to you. Come on. Don't make me get Bob after you. Excuse me! Come through. Now, as far as tensioning cables goes, uh, obviously uh, the physics gun is the way to go. It is the easiest, it gives you the most control, but it's not really an authentic... Oh, come on. It's not really an authentic um, approach to teardown in that, well, it's a mod. But this is something that you can do during the campaign it's not a cheat, it is a trick. And there is a difference. You, sir, are dismissed. Now, the top cable here is as tense as it can be at the moment. The lower cable is a lot less tense because it's got the shorter span, uh, but it's still somewhat under tension. So the truck's gonna move back a bit when I do that. That went farther than I thought it would. Enough of that, you. And you can keep doing this. Now, in some of the experiments I've done, um, I have stretched these really, really far. Not, not with this approach specifically, but... Um, I am not aware at this time of any limitation of how far that they can stretch. Go ahead and cut those slack ones. So the reason why I'm cutting those is because I started about here or so. And had I not cut those, then by the time I got the front of the truck here, those ones would actually now be fighting against my progress. Yes. Oh, yes. Now we're getting somewhere. I will go ahead and get rid of these. Insufficiently cooked spaghetti. Now, the more of these I keep adding, the harder it's going to pull right here. So we're at what, four, five? So theoretically, the span from here to here, because that is a, a, an amount of distance that is tension, tension shared across five cables, it should be theoretically about one-fifth of this distance, but it, it's not actually a linear equation so there there are it's got something to do with asymptotic curves but the point is that the more that you share the uh, the distance across multiple cables the the more of a share each cable can ha have of that tension so the other way to get this closer faster Yeah, you can go back and forth on those. There we go. Now this is an approach that I did try on a couple of the uh, part two missions where I needed some uh, impromptu flight, shall we say. Not much farther to go here. Let's just even that out. And 
that's as far as that one can go. Now, obviously, I could have gone farther. I mean, other than going to here, I mean, there is probably no limit to how linearly far you can stretch one of these. You could start here and theoretically stretch one all the way to here and let her rip and just see what happens. In fact, I'd love it if, if one of you made a video of you doing that. So, uh, for this experiment, this is as tight as we can get it, except the reason why I chose this vehicle is because that tailgate Oopsie. I forgot a key component in my little plan here. Wrong one. What I usually do, and what I forgot to do this time, was as the truck is approaching the wall, start adding diagonal ones down so that when that tailgate goes up, it'll counteract some of that torque. But I'm filming a video right now, and I forgot to do it! Actually, instead of the wall, let's go... Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that looks good. That, that's, that's good, yes. Perfect. You're a supermodel, baby. Yes, I am a YouTuber and a video game tester. I know what I'm doing, and this is not at all embarrassing. Okay, I made a boo-boo. Okay. So doing this, you can add a little more tension on there. So, there are certain things that are able to withstand this much uh, tension and certain things that are not. Um, this truck... The axis on this motor, shall we say, um, does not care about the amount of force that it is exerted on it. It's going to operate the same way regardless. So you could have thousands of tons of torque on there and it won't care. Uh, the same goes for the dump truck. This has potential to. But there are some vehicles uh, that have moving parts that are not immune to the amount of torque that they are exerted, that, uh, that's exerted on them. So it's trying to extend, but that's all the fight it's got. It just, it can't reach any further. Act. All I can really do is retract. It resets itself. There we go. But it won't ever fully extend. Just as a reminder, here's how far that can normally extend. So this is one of the vehicles that has limited strength in its motors. Now, the bridges here in Frestrum also have, apparently, the infinite strength thing, except that if you put a lot of load on them, what ends up happening is they start receding back. They will start shrinking back down over time, and the, and the more resistance you put against them, the faster they start creeping back. Um, it's just not necessarily noticeable at first. But things like this... Well, you can use a setup like this to tension something. So you could sever this cable if you wanted whatever object you have here to go that way, or sever this one if you wanted to go that way. Um, I've tried using planks to hold my target object in place, and that does not work because the planks will break almost instantly. Uh, there's been some change to the coating of the planks, so now 
they are much more susceptible to tension forces, and instead of having their joints stretch and stretch while the planks themselves don't get any longer, now the joint will simply break. So that's of no help. Um, I've also tried cases where I've set up something like this and then added another vehicle going this away, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, slingshot. Um, so you could have, yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, you could have either an object here that you want whatever this object is to run into to make this object either fly off or blow up, or you can do something like this where you shoot this cable and the tank flies off there. Uh, but I am fairly positive nobody wants to see what would happen if I shot that, so um, we'll just leave the video right here. Thanks for watching, and of course I'm not going to end the video here, what are you thinking? Let's see, let's go with... So now that was with uh, just one cable on each end, tensioning it. If you wanted a little more oomph, you could do multiple cables on each one, but naturally the more cables you have on each span from, from solid object to movable object and movable object to your fulcrum object, uh, the more cables you have, the harder it's going to be to make any progress. But it's still doable. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, oh. While well, I have this open, a lot of you don't know about the oomph of the hunting rifle. I do not call this a hunting rifle because this is more of an anti-material rifle. Um, this is a hunting rifle if what you're hunting for is tanks or armor-plated deer. Uh, this, ha this has some punch to it. So, never underestimate this weapon. It, it, it can do some pretty awesome stuff. Anyway, uh, that is enough for me. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please uh, click like and subscribe below. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.